Now, will tours also be available sure, that facility? they will. You could yeah. tour. You could actually tour the landfill facility. Right. See our green power and all and just go three miles and tour um, the material recovery facility. It you, will be a hands-on building. Great. You mentioned, Ricky, also some authorities statewide. How many other counties of the other 45 counties in the state have, or are there many authorities? Not to put you on the spot. No, there... we're, we're the only authority in the state. Is that uh, right? Most of the other uh, landfills are operated by the government entity. But we were one of the only counties that in 1990 or 92 uh, had the wisdom and the foresight to form an authority. Most yeah. of them are are a division of public works. Okay, so it's the, the solid well, waste need, authority is about we, 15 years old? Yeah, we, were, okay. we started in April of 92. 92, so just celebrated 15 years, a few months from uh, 16 That's exactly years right. now. That's tremendous. Yes. That's tremendous. Well, you know, when, when folks visit the website, they'll right there on the front page, you'll see a beautiful shot, an aerial shot. I think you said they have a shot of that uh, every uh, couple of months or once a month or so. We actually fly the um, landfill every month. It gives us a clear indication of how we're uh, building the landfill. We can see uh, how it's progressing. Right. And once a year we fly the landfill and we actually take dimensions of the landfill and we uh, check our operational efficient, uh, disposal efficiency right. because that lets us know how much capacity we have used mm -hmm. and versus how much we have left. And okay. we compare the numbers from a GPS point of view to what we actually weigh in in the scale house. We That's weigh fascinating. We weigh everything that goes in the landfill. This is very cutting edge, Ricky. Well, we think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We got about eight or nine minutes. And you know, as you think about that, was this a particularly special place to have? I mean, was this something that, or would there be multiple places in the county that a landfill could be located, or was this a particularly, I know you didn't start there right at the get-go, <laughs> but at the same time. Uh, well, the, the, his, the history behind the landfill on 90 actually started in the early 60s. It really? was a, uh, a facility that Conway and Myrtle Beach had together, is my right. understanding. Yeah. And then, the county operated it, um, and then when the Solid Waste Management Act of 1991 came into play, right. um, counties had to make decisions on how they were going to handle mm -hmm. uh, their waste. Uh, line Subtitle D facilities were uh, coming uh, into their own, right. and so uh, it, was, it was already a landfill. Mm -hmm. uh, the Solid Waste Authority bought more land. We, we actually own 847 acres. Wow. Where this facility sits, so 847 we, acres of that one location, that one still location. three miles away from the well, we own, roll on we, we own more land there, right, and right. I can touch on that. But we, I think we're there because we were there. Yeah, and, right, right, and when right. The, when the act came into play, that's where we we're at. Sure, it's a, um, it has capacity for 20 plus years. I was about to ask, you mean from here on? Well, from here on, right. Yeah, we, we, our planning window is, is roughly 10 years. Everything we do as staff is 10 years or farther out. Mm -hmm. uh, there are other places in the county um, where you could put landfills. Uh, obviously, county council uh, would have to approve that. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. I, I mean, that's, a, sure, that's yeah. another subject that I sure, won't yeah. get into. But, you know, we're, we're very excited about technology. Uh, we're working um, with Clemson University and a major... Um, equipment manufacturer, a worldwide equipment manufacturer to hopefully bring a, a process of waste reduction to the Solid Waste Authority where you won't have to have landfills. We can actually, oh, come on. We can actually um, degrade um, the waste and generate methane gas on demand. So we're, we've been working on that for a number of years and we've just recently reached an agreement with a major equipment manufacturer and so I, I'm looking for that could be very exciting. it could be very exciting wow. I'm looking uh, looking for great It'll things put you I out of a to. job though Ricky no yeah. somebody have to run the equipment <laughs> we'll, we'll always have there'll always be waste uh, oh, yeah. you yeah. can't recycle uh, everything even though our recycling rate is is in the 33 34 right. percent that. which yes is, very which is high. great yeah that's um, tremendous considering the 14 million tourists we have and um, mm to throw and go nature of our business because oh, yeah. people are here three or four days and they're gone. So we're very proud of our they, recycling rate. But They don't um, mind leaving their waste here. Yeah. And one thing, if I could mention, we also uh, handle the property for a storm event, a natural disaster, hurricane, right. 
uh, tornadoes, uh, ice storms. We maintain approximately 400 acres of property uh, in ready to bring the material from the affected area out to the authority and then process it when the sun comes up the next day, so Separate to Separate from the 847. Separate, Separate from, that. from the MRF and location. We, and yeah. we manage that for the county and for all the citizens and all the cities. That's tremendous. If you're, you know, when you're a um, tourist destination that we are, mm -hmm. it's, it's time to get back going as quick as you can and just want to make sure that everybody understands. I'm glad you else. mentioned that. And, of course, folks, if they've got questions, they can always call sure. the 347-1651 number. That's For our viewers in the PD in southeastern North Carolina, obviously they don't get the benefit of living in Ori and having something like the Solid Waste Authority. But, of course, is there anything at all like this? I know you said there's not another authority in the area, but in the PD or well, southeastern North Carolina, uh, Robeson, Scotland counties, is there uh, anything? Charleston County has a good operation, right. not to pick on people. Um, they have a good one. There's some good ones up in um, in the Raleigh area. Wake County's good. Sure, sure. But um, every every county handles their waste in a little different way. Different way. Public yeah. sector, private sector, some partnership. There's mm -hmm. there's really no textbook method right. to handling it. It's it's what works for you. When you mentioned that California is essentially 15 years ahead of, let's say, the Southeast, what are some of the best techniques that you that, have? Y'all stolen some of their good ideas? Well, actually, you talked about the MRF and that coming online. The sure. Lee Murph. I, actually, what we did, we visited um, California twice. Actually, good. visited other material recovery facilities and looked at their equipment. Right. Uh, if you look on the bottles, there it'll say 10 cent deposit in yeah. California, Maine. Recycling is mandatory in a number of places in the United States, mm. just not here in South Carolina. <laughs> right. Where you find it mandatory, you will find equipment to handle it. If right. you have to recycle it, somebody's built the equipment to handle it. So mm -hmm. We looked at a lot of facilities in Virginia, looked at a lot in Georgia, looked at a lot in California. So, as I said, it was a, it was a four year process. Those sound like valuable trips. Yes. Being able to see valuable. them hands on, not yes. just uh, hearing about them or looking at pictures, but sure. seeing it hands-on, yeah. that's very yeah. important. It's, uh, it's, it's a big part of what we do. We've just got a couple of minutes, Ricky. Let's just, just the steps of, is it a pretty easy uh, instructional piece when you're talking to the folks on the tour out there? Obviously, you really encourage, I think you mentioned 7,000 uh, students sure. and others came out just in 2007 alone. Sure. But when they come out <laughs> and they hear the story of, let's say, their you know, when the uh, the folks come to pick up their trash from me, let's say, day before yesterday on Monday morning in the city of Myrtle Beach, and the city picks it up, how do they get it out to y'all's landfill? Um, the cities pick it up, whatever it is. Uh, all the recyclables basically are in one container. Um, when you, when it's picked up, it comes by truck to the, will come to the new MRF in March. Right. Uh, it'll be dumped, and we have the technology to sort it there mechanically. Mm -hmm. So we can divide um, what's in the waste stream at, at our convenience center. We use source separation. Right. Basically, we ask our residents to separate it there. That saves us energy and manpower when we get it back to the MRF. Right. It's easy to, you know, it's e recycling is easy. You basically have to, get, have to separate your paper products and your uh, bottle plot products and, your, and in your food waste. Right, right. It's basically three things. Uh, Anything works, you can pick up containers from Lowe's. I've seen people use cardboard boxes. Yeah. There's no right or, or, or tried tr method. It's mm -hmm. just the fact that you have to have the, the want to do it. Right. You have to want right. to protect the environment. Oh, yeah. My but once we get it, we can separate it from whatever form we get it in. Mm -hmm. That's very important. So really, any way we do it, uh, your folks will uh, we'll, ultimately separate. We'll, I've seen a yeah. couple, uh, couple two doors over from me with multiple blue bags blue what look like trash bags with aluminum they, and they, some. they hold the recyclables that's wonderful you know someone talked to me recently about a bag like the normal bag you'd have in the trash can uh, in your house it's much like those listerine mints you can put in your mouth that would actually evaporate we have actually done some research with a major company at the landfill and um, you basically can bring your groceries home when you finish with the bag you can put them in the kitchen sink turn the hot water on and it dissolves or if there are plastic beside the road it'll dissolve when the dew and the sunlight hits it. Wow. They are biodegradable. They yeah. they just go to nothing. So technology is gonna Moving make a fast. change. Yeah. It's gonna make a change in the next years on the way we handle our product. 
What aspect's been the most exciting for you, Ricky, in joining the Solid Waste Authority as executive director? Of I, I think the thing that has been most rewarding to us is our ability to reach kids in the fourth grade. Um, changing a person's habits is a long ten-year process. Our board committed to that when we started talking trash. A fourth grader is eight or nine. Uh, in 10 years, he's 18 or 19, he gets married, he can vote, he can do things, he sets up home, he or she. So we, we have gone about a very methodical process of changing our mindset as to how people handle product in Horry County. But to see kids that started in, in our first year, this is our eighth year, and they're in high school and they come, they're well, well versed in what we do. Right. And we've also seen our recycling rates go up, so we know that we're affecting the community and the community's mindset as to how they handle waste. That's tremendous. Those are that's the great words, thing. Ricky. Thank, Thank you, you for those. Yes, Absolutely. Sir. And happy new year. Same to you, sir. Stay tuned to more Carolina People with Executive Director of the Solid Waste Authority, Ricky Hardy. Coming up next. It's not just three letters, it's seven letters, and it's also seven numbers. Take the time to write this down. Three four seven one six five one. Those seven numbers, very important. Three four seven one six five one it's not just those three r's of recycle reduce and reuse but also protect protecting tomorrow's environment today ptet take the time to write that down protecting tomorrow's environment today these are very important significance of what exactly what ricky talked about not only thinking about those fourth graders but as a father and as a grandfather thinking about the next generation and the generation after that protecting tomorrow's environment today that's an environment 50 years from now, and the Solid Waste Authority and all their dedicated board and staff out there making a difference, not only today, but for tomorrow and 50 years from now. Learn more about it, solidwasteauthority.org or 347-1651. Ricky Hardy.